Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Well, good. So, people who are joining joining online, can you hear me? Sorry, I could not hear you, but I believe you can hear me. OK, so people who are joining online, so please uh, keep yourself muted. When you need to uh, talk, then uh, make it unmuted. OK, now uh, you can see right from here. So some people if you uh, join in on teams and if you tell me if there is something. It's not going on, then you can tell me okay? from the front. If, uh, if it is on. OK, good evening everybody. So I would like to welcome you in our first year experience program. If OIE is there at Kinesa State University. So I am uh, Mokhtar Hussain and I'm a lecturer in computer science department and I will be your instructor for this course. Okay, so in order to access this course, you need to log in into D2L. So if you go to d2l.kinesa.edu, then you will be asked for login to get case you did well desire to learn bright space and then you need to give your username and password the username is your KSU username and password is same password the email password and uh, then here so you will see your all of your courses that you are assigned so i'm teaching only three courses this semester but i'm assigned as record of uh, instructor of records in five other lab courses so you i see that my outline is different than yours so this is our course you are in section two right programming and problem solving you are in section two so if you go to the home page at the beginning so then you will see i have this information uh, my information and I sent some announcements at least two announcement uh, I sent early uh, maybe not early this uh, last uh, week I sent some announcement okay and I also uploaded the syllabus the syllabus it will be here if you click uh, start here on this tab then you will see the course syllabus. Syllabus is uh, CSE 1320 syllabus section 2 spring 2021 version 1 V10. If you let us see that version 2 or 3 something, that means we will uh, think that there are some update or changes or fix in our syllabus. So please always follow the latest syllabus, okay? I, I every semester I get email from my old student that they ask me for the syllabus. Last week I got an email from a student who took my course in, in fall. Fall 18. Another one in spring 19. I think everybody should have saved this syllabus in your own file. So you can you can if you use GitHub, then you can or Google Drive or OneDrive. You should have you should save your syllabus at least, right? OK, so. If you open, I like you to download the syllabus. So if you open the syllabus, then it has my information, my name, my email address, and my office location is J building 353 D and uh, these are meeting times and my office hour office hour are available here on this link. So here my office hour is Tuesday and Thursday 1 to 3 p.m. But for this course, if since you you meet, we meet at 6 30. So if you have time, if you need something, then you can come in even 5 30 or something at 5 p.m. 
or something. Then better if you need long time or something really urgent, then send me an email, please. Okay, so we can make an another schedule if needed. So here one thing I like to focus on there are some requirements that uh, mask is wearing mask is required for all face to face meeting. Okay, even in person or in class. So I like everybody to like if you put an extra mask on your bag or pack, backpack. Sometimes if you forget them and so on, then you can use another one. OK, so I like everybody to go through, download this syllabus and follow. Read it at least one time, please. OK, I will briefly go through the rules and the major uh, key points here from here. But first of all, I like to tell you about my communication policy, my personal communication policy, OK? So maybe unlike others, I'm like it's different in my communication policy. There is a reason I will tell you some. OK, so in order to get my reply. You must send your email from case email. OK, I will not reply to any email from outside from your Gmail or Yahoo or other email. OK. OK, and. Please mention your the course name. This is 1322, right? At the either in the uh, subject line or at the beginning or at least somewhere in your email. So that quickly I know that which section are you in, okay? Or which course are you in? I got uh, this thing I tell every semester, but many of them do not follow, okay? And then what, what happened? They send an email at midnight. Professor, can you? I just missed the uh, deadline on the quiz. Can you give me an extension? Which one? Which course are you in? You do not tell me course one. If you tell me course one, then it's easy for me, right? To give you give an extension or something. Okay, I, then I, I become frustrated and then I decided I will not reply to that email. If the email does not, if you do not mention your course name at least, right? 1322. If you do not mention your course name, I will not reply. The reason is that I have about 400 students. Is it possible for me to know everybody by name in which section? So please, I am strict in my communication policy, OK? And another thing is that in D2L, there is a message here, message system over here. Because do not send any email, any message from here, D2L, okay? The reason is that when you send a message from here, it goes to my email address. Okay, but when I reply, it does not go to your email address. Or it does not come back here. Okay, the problem is that this, this messaging system is only internal to itself. It does not go, but it has forwarding to our email. So, Please do not send email from uh, KSU uh, others than KSU email address. And then please, please, everybody, please <coughs> mention your your course name at least. Preferably on the subject line or at the beginning of the email so that I can help you. OK, there are three tests in this course. OK, so. There are quizzes. There will be at least 10 quizzes. One of the lowest quiz grade will be dropped automatically. OK, in case you miss a quiz, then that will be compensated. OK, one one time. So one quiz will be dropped. OK, and then there are three tests. Test three is the final exam. If you miss test one or test two, then fine. Your final exam will compensate that. Even if you do not you take test one or test two, or you miss this test, your final exam will compensate that, okay? But there is no compensation for final exam. There is no rescheduling or makeup for any test. This is in rare case, like for instance, in essential case, like if someone is sick or family member is sick, in that case, we only consider for final exam retake or rescheduling. Otherwise, for the other test, we do not reschedule and we do not 
make up, but final exam will automatically make that up. So you understand? So if you miss any test, don't worry. Okay, the final exam will compensate that, okay? But there is an advantage of, at least one advantage, I believe many advantages, of taking all tests. If you take all tests, test one, test two, and test three, test three is the final, okay? Then your final exam will replace your lowest test grade. Okay? So if you two did bad in test two, for instance, you got only 20 out of 100. Okay? And then in final, if you get 90, then your test two will be also 90, right? Final exam will replace the lowest test two. So then that means we want to encourage you to take all tests, right? You understand that the advantage of taking all tests? Okay. <clears throat> but your final is not, is, is not um, the, will not be, final exam will not be replaced. Okay. And, okay, so from the very beginning, at the end of this semester, like at the end of every semester, we got some request from student, professor, give me some extra research work or some assignment so that I can boost up my, my gear. That is, we don't have any way. Yes, personally, I don't have any way. The, the reason is that we work in a team. We teach in a team, okay? There are, um, I don't know, this semester, last semester, there were about 1,800 students in our first year experience program. So we are five professors here and eight GTA, graduate teaching assistant. Really, we are busy. So you see that like 10% of them send email every day or on an average and how many emails we have to reply. So when you send an email, please give up some reasonable time. Okay. So, so uh, even I got some email. So today that asking professor, do I need to join in the class? So this class is face to face class, right? So it is required, it is expected that you will join in face to face. But I will always give an advantage that I will always broadcast my lecture from the very beginning. I will always broadcast my lectures and then like if in case you cannot join in, you can join virtually. Okay. Previous semesters, we did have requirement of uh, our advantage or some bonus points for joining face to face lecture attendance, but we do not have due to COVID-19, we do not have any attendance. Um, policy okay we do not keep any attendance okay so since this room is enough large enough so we do not have any rotation all students are required to join every day okay and one thing is that uh, how is that called a webcam is required for this course even you take your test here in this room or you take from online you need to have a webcam okay university will not provide you any webcam. Okay, you have to have your own webcam. So I think all modern laptop have webcam, right? It's a built in webcam. Or maybe if you spend thirty dollar, forty dollar, twenty dollar, you can buy a webcam. Okay. So I like instead of going all of this like about ten pages syllabus, I like you to spend at least some time to go through this. This syllabus okay and especially our policies in our first year first year experience phase fye phase due to large number of students so we are strict in our policy so that nobody can deprived can be deprived okay and nobody can be given like unexpected benefit okay so we want to be fair and give equal advantages to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I like you to spend some time actually uh, here to to spend time. Okay. So this is our score schedule, and we will follow this course schedule. So when you click the score schedule is 1322. Course schedule is here, right? So if you see that a course schedule, we have currently 4.0 version, right? 
later if you see that there is a change or update in the version like 5.0 or 4.1 4.2 something different okay please follow that one okay if there is minor changes maybe there are some updates then sometime we update this okay so at the last column we have the deadline we have due dates of quizzes if you see this let me let me highlight this one the last column this is the assessment and their due dates like d, uh, quizzes there are all quizzes and their due dates all quizzes are due mostly on sunday midnight please do not wait until the last minute or last five minutes okay all quizzes are open book you can do google search you can do all quizzes are given enough time an hour for 10 questions six seven eight questions okay for an hour you can do google search you can see your slide you can write the program and then you can do okay but there is no retaken uh, only one chance for all quizzes okay you have the syllabus and policy quizzes okay so take the syllabus and policy quizzes by this 17 okay so there are more than 10 quizzes over here you will see that at least everybody will get uh, an 100 uh, percent point should get 100 percent in syllabus and policy quiz right simple there's nothing okay and so at least you got 100 percent at the beginning and then if you miss one quiz or if you do bad in one quiz then that will be replaced automatically okay so the syllabus the quizzes cover 25 percent of this course content okay and the three tests will 25 percent each so 100 percent okay and we have our grading grading policy so sometime we gave like one point or two sometimes one point or half point like carving but if there like there is a something hard in our test question or something but last semester it was not recorded okay so please follow this this is the our grading scale okay so has anyone any question about our syllabus okay and i think most of you have taken our 1321 course right okay is anyone here i don't like to embarrass you but just for curiosity anyone here that did not take 1321 here okay you took from other other School, right? Okay, that's good. But if you did not take 1322 course out course here, then I would like you to be familiar with our content in 1321. Okay, so that easy, it's free. Then go to our resources page. Okay, in first year FYE and resources then you have our book and then you have lecture slides for 1321 and 1322 this is 1322 and these are for 1321 yes so i like you please download all of this content these are free and please read this and then if you think that something you are unfamiliar then go ahead please. okay the first two weeks we, we will cover we will cover like we'll review this okay that reviewing means that we will not go through everything we will go something okay and then and and if you go through these even if even if you took this course here 1322 here if you go through this you will not be loser it definitely will be benefited okay every time i look at this slide i learn something new or i remember something that i forgot i think you will do that okay so <clears throat> so let us start our uh, today you see that this course in this course we have nine modules right so the nine modules in one third of this course we cover object-oriented programming a month at least a month and a half you will cover object oriented programming object oriented if you want to learn modern programming you want to be 
a programmer you want to want to be a software engineer or software developer you must learn object oriented programming object oriented programming is the foundation of all modern programming languages okay this amazing thing once you learn object oriented programming your learning or understanding any programming language will be easier okay so i like you everybody to give focus at the beginning of this course in, in like first one, one third at the beginning okay please do not wait until say you find any test date don't think that okay when the test is test one is is a month later right more than a month later do not wait for until the a week like uh, february to start really then you will be loser so object oriented is the foundation of all advanced level courses this is the only course only one course you will learn object oriented programming if you want to be a software engineer or major in computer science data science any any area then you must learn object oriented programming okay so you see that these are the these are our schedule so we will go through one by one the course content you see there most of them many of them i personally develop i know all of this okay so i have about more than 20 years teaching and learning experience in this area programming and I have some authors, some books on object-oriented programming in Java, C++. I wrote a book on database, data structure and algorithm. And uh, so if I go to my case. So I have authored about 20 books. So most of my books are written in my native language, Bengali. So, but all programs code are written in, in English. This is my latest book on, on Java programming. So, the I want to tell that it is not uh, wrong if I tell that I know everything for this course, almost everything. If university allows me, I could teach one in one sitting or one day or two days and continuously. Then I'm done for the semester, right? Then that will help me, but that may not help you, right? So for you, you need to learn gradually, little by little, right? One by one, one by one. So sometimes, so may, maybe there are some students over here, many people here who already know these stuff, many of these stuff. In every semester, especially in this course, I get some student who have been working as a software engineer or program developer for many years. Okay, still they told me that they learned something new in this course. Maybe they they are working as a software engineer by they learn programming by themselves, but now they then in the degree, so they are here. So, but still they are learning something new. I believe so. Uh, you will learn something new and this is this one will be your one of your best course you are taking more effective course okay so we went through our most of our policies but one thing i uh, one thing maybe i did not tell you here i have my personal policy in this course okay uh, so we have a just a hundred day journey right 100 day how many days in this semester? 100 days? About 100, three months journey, right? So at the end of th this, this 100 days, what you will be learned? Let us set our resolution, okay? Think of this. You will be learning how to, how to, how to do object-oriented programming. That means how to write a program in object oriented fashion. I cannot guarantee that you will be a programmer, but you will be on the track to be a programmer. Okay. In this course, what I will 
teach you i will teach you how to walk on the field of object oriented programming but in order to be successful in this course you must know yourself how to run on the field of object oriented programming okay oop you understand that and how to run and how to walk the difference between i always tell a story <laughs> it's silly though that in this course i will teach you how to walk okay when we remember that when we were a little baby right our parents taught us how to walk and whenever we have our little babies or brothers sisters or nieces or something that right? we teach them we hold their hands and we teach them how to walk right do we teach them how to run we do not teach them how to run right maybe nobody taught us how to run right we we'll, if we if a child is healthy then it is expected that he will be able to run himself right so in this course i will teach you how to walk on the field of programming but you ultimately you need to run walking is not sufficient to pass in this course okay that means if you just join in in this lecture and listen to me then you will be learning how to walk but if unless you do practice you will not be able to to actual programming okay this course is like i still another story this course is like a, a swimming class so no matter how many theory or lecture theory course of how to swim you take if you do not dive into water can you learn how to swim no right you have to actually get into water in the pond or a river or a swimming pool or somewhere in order to learn how to swim right so that means you actually you learn the theories behind object oriented programming here you yourself need to practice i cannot practice for you can i practice for you no i cannot practice nobody can practice for you you have to practice yourself and once you practice then you will find interest it is a good trend then you will see that object oriented programming is really amazing and really it is a good something good then you will be interested in practicing practicing and practicing when i i learned object oriented programming and then it with c++ and then uh, after a few week, a year when i learned object oriented programming i ri start writing a book on object oriented programming then because i found too much interest on it something amazing something new because when i was a student i had interest to learn how to be a programmer how to develop software working software okay then when i see that i need to do how to integrate on stuff on software something like this so then when you see that when you learn these stuffs you will see that you are spending hours after hours night after night okay so let us go to our first year welcome slide okay so this is the formal slide sometimes i go formal slide we and i i don't need to see your formal slide so i know everything i can go with your slides but i is record i should have cover all the slides okay so again welcome you well, i like to welcome everybody again for our first year experience program and this is our website so please sometimes visit our website in order to learn any questions you do have okay everything is not mentioned in the syllabus okay so i know you are here because you have your goal to be either a software engineer or computer scientist or software developer or game developer or IT specialist right okay 
So, and, and also for learning programming is also what the for all, all our, also all or many other areas. So, because then if you are here, then if you, if you take this course, if you do well in this course, even if you do not pursue your degree in computer science or software engineering, you will not be loser. There are many people in this world who do not have any degree in computer science or software engineering. They are living better than any of us. They are successful. They are earning a lot of money too, right? So it's not required that everybody has to be a programmer. Everybody has to be a software engineer, okay? Don't worry if you do not go on that track. So I know that all of you have completed 13. One, right 1321 and 1322 and also for this 1322 there is a lab also associated right these three core this three credit course is only lecture only and we will discuss everything in two languages c plus plus sorry java and c sharp two languages we will discuss the object oriented programming concept in general then we will discuss in terms of implementation in terms of Java and C sharp. Almost 80 to 80 to 85 percent to 90 percent is same or identical. There are a few minor differences. Where there are major differences, I will discuss. I will not. Okay. So it is expected that you will spend about three hours per credit hour at least two hours okay so three hours then three times three nine hours right if you spend nine hours per week for this course or eight hours at least some people may need more or less hours then we'll be good but your lab course everybody has to take labs is there anyone that is not taking a lab course something that i am not teaching any lab course but uh, uh, you may see my name in D2L as an instructor in some lab courses, lab section, uh, as a default record of an instructor because our DTAs, they teach lab course courses, but they are not entitled to be an instructor officially. So, on my name is there for any, uh, any question about your lab, please do not send me an email. I will not be able to help you resolve it. If you first send email, for an extension or something or submission, ask your GT, okay, corresponding lab instructor. If that does not work, then send me email. <coughs> so, but your lab course only one credit hour, but you may need to spend more time in your lab. So many students in my course in previous semester who told me that, Professor, I don't need to study math for your lab course, for your theory course, because I give attention to your course and I learned every, almost everything I understood. But I got a hard time, I, I spend a lot of time in my lab. That is good. If you give attention in this course, my, my lecture, then you will be good. You will be pretty good. You will learn, learn just uh, lab about 60-70% of these things. So you need to practice. Okay, so the one thing that I have my personal, one of my personal policy that in this course, I do not allow anybody to open any device for any other business until your this course work. Okay. Yeah. So anywhere, if you see, I will, if I see that you are watching a movie or playing games on your computer or phone, I'll be mad. You will hurt me, really. I may not tell you anything, but I will, I will be shocked because you are here, right? You are spending your money, you are spending your time. So please give attention, then you will learn something. If you do not give attention, then why do you need to come here? You don't need to come here. Even you can join online, right? You can join online or also all of my lecture videos in previous semester are uploaded in YouTube. You can watch that from there. Or even if you do not watch, if you do well in the test, that's good. But as long as you are here, you are not allowed to use any device for any other purpose than this, this course. Is everybody agree with me? 
if you do not agree with my this policy please send me or send me an email or tell me convince me why i'm wrong some student tell me that professor is rude some student tell me that professor did not reply my email i i did not reply i will not reply to your email i told you that if you do not if you do not mention your course number i will never reply to your email is am i wrong i did, i mentioned that right okay so if you, i see that you are using your device for social networking definitely i will be mad i will be rude okay definitely we we need we have we may have emergencies right if you get a phone call receive the phone and go outside silently and receive the finish your talk and come back if you need to phone go make a phone call go outside and make a phone call and come back okay if you need to send a text do it quickly but it does not make sense to me that you will spend 5 minutes 10 minutes to send messages that is not emergency thing right that emergency that takes 10 minutes okay and ultimately at the end of this course after our 3 months journey i like everybody to feel that you learn everything yourself if you tell that if you then you will evaluate my teaching right of course if you tell that okay a professor did not know anything professor did not teach me anything i learned everything myself then no, i'm fine i am happy you are my best student okay <laughs> every semesters i got uh, some student that they say oh professor i did not know there is a error quizzes last semester i got two email two students send me email oh professor i did not know there are quizzes so in, in the in the schedule right clearly mentioned every semester we clearly mentioned that there are quizzes due dates right how can i tell otherwise that there are quizzes you can it is acceptable that if you miss one or two quizzes right but at the end of the semester if you tell me no oh, professor i did not know that there are quizzes that means you, you did not read the syllabus you did not open the schedule you did not attend the lecture so but every day i will not tell you that there is a quiz due okay if i give attention over there maybe i will lose my time on that time i can teach you something about opposite tangent problem okay so please follow the syllabus and deadlines by yourself okay and as long as you are here please do not miss your time okay not a single minute can we make that resolution tonight if you do that then i am pretty sure that you will be successful And at the end of this course, you can say that okay, I can now pursue my degree in computer science or software engineering, or I can be a software engineer or developer. Otherwise, if you do not to learn in this course, you cannot be a software engineer. You cannot be a programmer. I am sure if you get an A or at least a B in this course, you can crack an internship in the summer. An internship interview. Sometime I will cover many interview questions. that are commonly asked in in an interview but you, you need to give attention otherwise you won't be able to has anyone any question so far yes sir that's it okay thank you for your suggestion <laughs> okay Okay. So we do not have any C++ lab. I learned object oriented programming with C++. Now C++ is one of the hardest programming languages that I know. I know more than 10 programming languages. But C++ seems to be more difficult than all other programming languages. Okay. So especially actually still we have 
uh, especially like I learned object oriented programming 20 years, more than 20 years ago. So at that time, Java was not introduced. So, but when Java was introduced, I moved with Java. So Java has a built in library and the Python, uh, C sharp, they have good libraries. Okay. Now, modern C has many libraries, but still, Java and uh, C sharp. Uh, Python are better than C++. Okay, as you know that in order to pursue your higher study in computer science or software engineering, you need to get at least a B in this course, right? We, in our policy, we do not have any goal or um, intention that we will give B or A of 80% or 70% or 60% student. If everybody gets A, you will get A, okay? If nobody gets A, B, we will not give A. We will not enforce you to, to give, give any kid. So everybody, you are paying your money and your time. So why not be serious? And in this course, please be serious from the beginning. So then you will not be, get a hard time. Okay. So we know that. Do you know the reason why do we need a B in this course? So you are at the beginning of this journey in uh, maybe in computer science or software engineering, right? You are studying, studying. Career is part. The studies, right? So our our experience is that if you do not get a B, at least B in this course, you will get a hard time. In passing other courses, get us structures and other computer science courses. So we do not want that you spend three years here, four years here, okay, and you spend a lot of money and time and effort, but at the end you cannot graduate. You have to switch your to department. You don't like that. You will lose your money, right? Maybe your money or your parents or some of your beloved person money or even government or federal money. We don't like you to waste something. So there is a filter. So everybody, we know that in order to take this course, you need to get at least B in 1321, right? So whoever got B, at least B in 1321, now recall that there is a lot of things new, but not hard thing. If you are sincere from the beginning, that this is not hard, right? And at least you learn something in 1321, right? Sorry. I think need it, otherwise. So we want to ensure that you will be successful in this course and your success is my success. Okay, at the end of this course, if you fail, well, then what you will do maximally, what you will mostly, you will give a bad evaluation to me. On a rate my professor, you will tell me that professor did not respond to my email. Professor did not tell me, teach me anything, okay? <laughs> at the end of this evaluation, so at the end of this course, if you tell that, I learn everything myself. Professor did not teach me anything. Professor did not learn anything. Then you are my best student. So in this course, you will see that in, in our first year experience program, so if we go to our office hours, So your our office hour, my office hour, personal office hour is this, Tuesday and Thursday, uh, uh, 1 to 3 p.m. But if you need help, anytime if you're available, you can go to stop by to our, uh, our office. There are other professors, they can help you. Almost everybody can help you, okay? And we have also our GTAs. They, they are ready to help you. But maybe nobody will come to you to help you. I always tell a story, a joke, you may say that, or a funny tale. 
in this course that uh, is anyone here is anyone here never saw how to do fishing even did or did not do fishing but even if he did he did not see how to do fishing anyone here he did not know how to do fishing or he did not even see how people catch fish anyone here you did not see how to do fishing okay <laughs> i got one you never do fishing yourself some people do fishing right in summer time i do also you never have gone okay so uh, maybe if i think even you should see at least some videos on youtube if you on open youtube and how to do fishing then you will see that people how to you have never fish <laughs> so <laughs> okay there one thing that let me let me tell this story then i will go back to here okay, good point so if you know how to do fishing okay one thing that at least one thing you need to realize that no matter how many fish are there in, in a pond or a river or a lake no fish will jump into your bucket right you have to catch fish you have to catch them right unless we catch a fish no fish jump into our bucket so that means we are four professors we are eight gtas we have tutors we are ready to help you but you have to catch us we will not tell you hey come here i will help you i will not tell you never nobody will tell you you need to get help yourself okay you need to ask for help even we know that naturally our parents our moms many moms do not feed their kids until or unless the kids cry right even the little baby little baby needs to cry or, or ask for milk right <coughs> so, okay so so far one thing is that okay now good point so now you have realized that i'm not a native english speaker everybody has realized that right my accent is very hard and bad because i have english is not my first language i am from a country is called is bangladesh it is in between china and india a small country okay size about georgia <coughs> okay so i am not good at all in english that is not my personal problem the problem is natural when we become uh, adult our vocal organs become fixed so even if i spend my whole life learning only english speaking english how to speak english i will not be able to speak english like you okay i never i cannot speak like the, my little boys they they speak very fluently or or with good good accent okay so all of my lecture videos are uploaded in my, my youtube channel so if you want to go ahead so i, I like you to to go to my youtube channel it is called c s i t a expert computer science and information technology education uh, it's not on the screen okay you see that this is my youtube channel and all of my previous semester's videos are here if you want to if you can go ahead of me so then almost everything almost 90% 80% thing same <coughs> that we will cover 
repeat in this semester so the all of so for instance 1322 fall 2020 or 1322 spring so year ago so that how many videos i will have 20 25 videos so welcome to these are the videos almost i will repeat these videos this content again okay so this is open i like you so to go to my some of these videos and randomly pick some of videos and watch a few minutes and try to see if you understand my english my accent okay if you really getting hard time and if you do not really understand my english then there is a way please leave my section you go to another section there is another professor who is a native english speaker he will be good fit for you so in this course i am not teaching english i am not teaching learning english i will be teaching object oriented programming okay so in the evaluation you cannot blame me that professor had very bad english accent okay i am not responsible for that if you do not understand my english then it is your problem read the book book has everything right all of our slides and book we have free books and book has everything why don't you read the book or at the beginning i'm telling please go to other section but i'm good very good in this course course material okay and one thing that we will not teach math in this course although we will need many math math problems to solve in this course let me show you one thing okay so what is 16 divided by Four. What is sixteen divided by four times four? What is this? What is the result? Okay. Everybody should be 16. Is there any different opinion? One. How many of you have one? At least one, two, three, four. I wish I would have candies for <coughs> them who said correct. Okay. I will not be teaching math, like silly math, like this. This course is not a math course, but you may get questions like this. Every semester we get some questions like this. What is the factorial of zero? Is factorial zero equal to is factorial one? Then we, we got some student at least, they could not answer correctly. So this is an elementary math, right? So this, will, this kind of math will be required for this code, but I'm not teaching math. And like I'm not teaching English in this course okay so again the last thing is, is, is although it is unexpected to say that if you really do not understand my english and accent if you get hard time you have an option that you can go to other section switch to other section okay but i can guarantee you that if you stay in my course if you give attention to me if you practice, I mean, if you go ahead with me, go go with me. That's all I will run. If you run with me, then you will be a good startup programmer. Where did I leave here?
Okay, so for lab, okay, so for lab, there is a midterm. So midterm will cover 20% of your lab grade. And then final will cover 30%. If you miss your midterm, then your final exam will compensate that, okay? Same thing like in lecture. Okay, but again, I'm not teaching this lab course. Okay, so for any question and concern about your lab, you please contact your lab instructor first. Okay. So the only thing you will need in this course just to listen to me and practice. Then you will be good. If you listen to me attentively, then you practicing will be easy. Okay. Last almost everything I will practice here. I will do live program for almost everything. I will show you live coding code. And then you will follow that, you will do that one and something more. Then it will be fine. <clears throat> okay. So this course. I don't know, so we do, I will ask a student opinion about the, uh, this course, at the end of this course. I got most of my students, they said, in the lecture course, I give attention and I did not need to study. Or almost, I spend only time in, in lab, most, or most of my time in lab. That's good. If you do understand, if you give attention in my lecture, then I think, I think still even shoot some practice, have some practice, but I think if you do lab practice, then fine. We will cover this, okay? Okay, one more thing is that our first year experience program is very strict about our some policies and especially like copying and cheating and those stuff. So I skipped up. So in this course, please, please do not try to copy code, code from somewhere else, from your, from your friend or some somewhere or check or some account. If you get caught, then you will be loser. Getting a B in this course is 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 enough. Is good enough. Then got caught in cheating. If you, but I like you to do group study or do collaborative study, but like it differently. So if you want to share or understand something or want to teach something to your friends, what I like you to do, you understand how to write pseudocode, right? In our code, in our course, we will not allow pseudocode. Only the first test, test one, for some cases you can write pseudocode. But all about that, I will not be allowed to write pseudocode. So if you want to teach someone and or be taught someone something, ask them to write this even pseudocode format. When you do group study, write pseudocode. Understand the pseudocode. Then everybody write your own program. Then your programs will be different. Right? Do not ask anyone to code, write a code for you. Then your code will be identical. Right? You will get caught. You will get caught for an identical code for cheating, right? But if you understand something in pseudocode format or in, in flowchart or something, then you can try. I think you are you took 1321. You are good that you can convert your pseudocode to your program code, right? So <clears throat> this was our <clears throat> So has anyone any question about our policy and our syllabus please go through the syllabus I did not go through line by line syllabus <clears throat> and some at least one time read the syllabus okay 
How many minutes I do have? About 10 minutes? <clears throat> Okay, so if you, so okay, so you are, you are expected to join in face-to-face -face class. Okay, so then if you come face-to-face, -face, then you will be enforced to give attention, right? I will not allow you to watch Facebook or movie. So then uh, I think then, I, be, I believe most of you so in my previous semester student who are regular in my lecture, and who give attention, they all of them succeeded. And I, I sometimes I mask with their uh, attendance sheet and their results sometimes after submit our result. Students who are irregular, they did bad. So sometime please, if you go ahead with of me, then you have all resources. Almost 80% will be same from, from our last semester. From last semester, last immediate last last fall, right? We passed last fall. Fall videos are are here. It's fall videos, right? We have 22 videos here. I see. So almost 90% will be same. So we have our videos are already pre-uploaded. You can watch them, right? But do not miss. Even I see that in my this course, in this course when I'm teaching uh, every semester in evening. Okay, I I found many students who are senior and then who have many years experience in as working as a, in software or IT industry. They just came for degree or some. Uh, uh, similar purposes, and some of them told me that they learned something new from this course. I, you will notice that in, there is a difference between academia and industry work. In academia, you will learn only the concept, basic concept, and that concept will. <coughs> so whenever go for interview, so they will ask for only for the basic concept. And then when in, in job field, the actual industry, they will, you will see that there are many tools and many companies use many programming languages, different version, different something. But they ex do not expect that you will learn everything ahead of time. They expect that you will learn the foundation. You will have the foundation. Once you have foundation, strong foundation, you can learn any language very quickly. And this is the only course that you will learn object oriented programming. There is no other course that you will learn object oriented programming in, in this at university level. Then your next course will be data structure, right? Then algorithm course. I teach another algorithm course. So uh, in order to take data structure, you need to get an a B, at least a B in this course. In order to take Algorithm that is 400 level class, senior level class. You need to get at least a B in in your data structure. That means these are the foundation, right? So it is expected that if you do well in this course, you will be good to crack an inter internship in summer, and then you will be smoothly graduating if you get an A in this course without cheating, okay, or a B, okay. Confidently, then you will see that your life will be easy, your journey will be easy. You will not be headache for working your assignments or something. You will be able to do yourself. Okay, the next next lecture and uh, in next lecture we will cover module one and next week. We will cover module one. Let us see this. <clears throat> so, and and the next week we will cover module two. So actually, you see that we have only one week to review our thirteen twenty one content. Content. So in our thirteen twenty two twenty one, how many topics will we have? 
in our 1322, we have eight modules, right? A semester long course, but we will cover only, we will review only those in one week, maybe in our next lecture. Okay, so if you forget something, then this is a good time. So please, please go quickly. And also I have my videos, 1321 videos, you can watch them. Okay, and beyond the syllabus and content of this course, say my goal that I was telling you, I was telling that there is a gap between academia and industry. Academia will teach you those are the basic things, but industry will give you some specific work. Okay, there is a gap between. I have experience working as a software engineer for several years. I know how to fill the gap. And I'm here, I know, to fill the gap between industry and academia. Okay? So, but one thing that I need you, your attention. Really, I cannot help you unless you help yourself. Okay? So tonight, let us make our resolution that only these three months, as long as you are here, you will be given 100% attention to me, okay? Is everybody agree? Okay, at least keep this time for me. Okay, as long as you are here, so please do not open your phone or... Open. I'm sorry. I muted it, but why is <laughs> it? I'm is muted. Huh? Muted, but why is this? <clears throat> so, we have a few minutes. So, in our next lecture, we will see that I will cover, I will review most of the 1321 things, and then, okay. So, when you come to our next lecture, Please come with some energy, okay? <laughs> Not energy, <laughs> some mental energy, okay? So that we can cover a lot of things. Okay, has anyone any question? Okay, there is a syllabus and policy quiz. There are two quizzes. One is maybe syllabus and another is policy. There are two quizzes, right? So in D2L, all quizzes in and test will be in D2L, okay? So in the quizzes, so, 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 so there is two quizzes, syllabus and policy quizzes, right? So these are two quizzes. So if you take these two quizzes, it's, it's easy that you will get 100%, right? And there are 10 other quizzes. Maybe two or one will be dropped, okay? <clears throat> so if you miss even some things, then maybe. Uh, you can come sit. Okay, has anyone any other question? Okay. I like everybody in my course be succeeded. Okay, our, so again, I tell you that our policy does not say that we will give A and B to this person's student. If everybody gets A, then fine. Okay. As long as you are here, as long as you are spending your money, as long as you are spending your time, my humble request to you is that please give attention. Then you will see that I will run with you. And then if you run with me, then at the end of the semester we will be on the way to succeed. Okay, thank you so much and I will see you in our next lecture. So people who are joining online, has anyone any question? Professor? Yes. Are you going to post all lecture recordings? Hopefully, hopefully I will post in my YouTube channel or in D2L. Okay.
because I have like a job. I have a job on Tuesdays, but so I uh, need to watch the recording. So am I going to be able to consistently get that? Okay. Even even I saw that even uh, I do not, I do not post in this semester video. Then you can watch my videos from previous semester, right? Okay. Yeah, I'll look at those. Do you see my screen? Okay. Thank you so much.